Salam alaikum brothers and sisters, how are you? I'm a clothing designer and also musician playing the instrument called Rabab from Pakistan Peshawar and Japanese Muslim. I had a shahada when I was young and traveling in Morocco and there are many many reasons to lead me to the Islam. For example like this, I stayed with a warm-hearted local people in the Muslim countries and I experienced the simple and very peaceful lifestyle and of course the sounds of Quran affected to me by the depth of my soul. And these stories, I already talked about it in the last videos, but today I want to talk about the fact of the life of a Muslim Muslim countries by the historical fact and the traveling experience more than 30 countries in the world. I took the music major when I was in a college United States in Boston. So before that, I also studied world history and geography in the school. So you see the map of the world nowadays, especially in the Middle East uh, and some part of the Africa is divided by unnatural and straight lines like Somalia, like uh, Mali, like uh, Algeria or the border of the Syria, Syria. But however, if you see the map of 150 years ago, those unnatural straight line was not exist on the map. You can see this map, uh, this map from the Middle East since 16th century, the Sham, the country called Iraq or Syria nowadays was not uh, exist. You see like this for a long time, Ottoman Empire has controlled this area for a long time. Of course, Israel was not exist. No Palestine territories problem at all. Jewish, Muslim, Christian were living together in the Ottoman Empire era. However, about 100 years ago, 1915, the Western countries came to the Middle East and they divided, cut into the pieces like this map. Zone A is a French, Zone B is a British, Zone Red, something like this, you know, cut into the pieces like a cake. So the local people living there were also divided by the line, unnatural straight line. Of course, it creates so much problems and still now this area borderline in unnatural too straight. So the conflict uh, remains still now. So many people who studied about these historical facts, it is easy to understand where the problem come from. However, most of media tells us in the news people in the Muslim countries make always problems in the religion by the religion. They never stop fighting each other, something like this, blah, blah, blah. If somebody studied history, this history, he will understand how the problem created. 100 years ago, European people comes to the Middle East, they divided the country by country, the sykes pico arrangement. Also, Israel occupation problem in Palestine. By that reason, create most of the problems until nowadays. So, it is not come from the religion. It is not come from the race. It is the problem comes from the territory divided by Western countries. For example, we experienced the World War uh, one time and two times. World War two and World War one. But those are not created by Muslim countries, you know. For example, atomic bomb attack in Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan, it is not comes from Muslim countries. You know very well, it is true. I had traveled many Muslim countries in my life. I made a peaceful, real Islam, simple, peaceful lifestyle when I was young. West Africa, Mali, Senegal, Burkina Faso, Mauritania, Morocco, Turkey, or Middle East, or Palestine, or Pakistan, and Bangladesh, many countries. And I had stayed also United States, the Western countries, United States, Boston for two and a half years when I was in the college. I am a Japanese and geography, I am in the middle, we are in the middle. 
not belong to Western country and not belong to Muslim countries. So I am be able to see the world as objective and perspective way. The experience Muslim countries for me, the lifestyle was very comfortable, so comfortable, so naturally understandable for Japanese lifestyle as well. Because the basically Japanese values, the family of uh, individualism is more important. Like to be clean, like purification is very important for our culture and also in the Islamic way. As you know, Japan is a developed country and a convenient country for living. But we have the big problem on the balance of population. Too much older people and very less young people in the population balance. According to 2014 estimates, 33% of Japanese population is above the age of 60. People aged 65 make up the quarter of the total populations. It is a fact. It is true. How is your country? Uh, maybe it is not like Japan. It never be like Japan. Many, many young people, isn't it? So in Japan, society is established. The banking system is very well. Internet system is uh, very reliable. So in the future, inshallah, you will be able to live in Japan and work in Japan because we need this in the society. We really need the young people to work to keep the Japanese society. So inshallah, I will be like a bridge between Japanese people to the people comes from the Muslim countries. And if you don't mind, please subscribe my channel. I will keep upload at least once in two days. And the music I created by myself, I play by myself, I compose by myself, I arrange by myself. And if you are interested, the, my music is on the streaming for free. You can listen to it for free. And I thank you for your comment. I really appreciate of your opinion. Anything you want to know about Japan, you want to know something from me, please, please ask me. And I'm looking forward to see you on the next video. Inshallah, Khoda Hafiz. Salam Alaikum. Thank you.